Hey guys, how's it going? It's TCG here again. And uh, I've got another predator. Yes, I'm going crazy at the moment on NECA predators. Uh, I'm just loving collecting them at the moment. And uh, it's nice to share uh, some of my uh, recent pickups. And this is a recent pickup. I arrived through the post a couple of days ago. And this is to add to my uh, City Hunter collection. Um, this particular one is uh, the game version. Um, I think this is from 2015. They also did the Jungle Hunter as well, uh, which was the Arnold Schwarzenegger cover. I've also got that one as well. Picked that up this week. But I thought I would show you this one and, uh, and also compare them to my other City Hunters that I have. Anyway, as you can see there on the box, really cool box there is on top of the uh, building. Classic, uh, but it's done in the, the game uh, graphics. Uh, really cool. I think it's the, uh, uh, the NES game. And uh, yeah, really loving the, uh, uh, the box, which is pretty, is, is very much similar to the Ultimate series, but obviously this predates the Ultimate series. This was just before. So the articulation will be different, uh, but not completely. Uh, but yeah, they're on the side there, you see Necker Predator 2. Uh, take him off at the back there, we'll have a close up of the box, really cool there. Silent, invisible, invisible, the Predator is in town with a few days to kill. It comes from a distant world, invisible. It's armed with powerful weapons, unlike anything we know. It mercilessly stalks humans for sport. As Lieutenant Harrigan, it is up to you to rescue innocent people from the clutches of the evil drug gangs before they become trophies of the Predator. Search the streets, rooftops and subway until you confront it. The Predator is on the hunt. Find him before he finds you. Yes, really cool. And... Uh, it says, guess who's in town with a few days to kill, removable smart disc, retractable blades, trophy skull, articulated shoulder cannon and extended spear. As you can see there, this is from 2015. As you can see there. Really cool item, I like how it's like weathered. As you can see there at the top of the box. I'm looking at the front there. Classic, classic. And at the bottom there, we've got the NECA official seal of quality, which I think that was on the uh, NES games as well. If we open him up, as you can see there, level seven, the alien ship rescued 25 hostages. That's out of the game, really cool. And there you've got the trophy wall, predator trophy wall. This is also on the uh, Velcro tabs. And uh, looking at the figure itself, uh, again, this is resembling the game or the game graphics. Really cool item, really love it. There you get the skull, trophy skull, spear and the disc in the corner. Really nice item. So yeah, guys, as you can see there, your level, health. But yeah, guys, I'm going to get this guy open and... Uh, I think we're comparing to uh, a few of my other NECA figures, uh, NECA City Hunter figures. So, uh, without any further ado, let's crack him open. And here we are, guys, got him out of the box. And uh, I'm really loving this figure. Obviously, this figure is from uh, 2000 and, uh, is it 15. So, the articulation is not... Like that of the Ultimate Series. And, uh, you know, you've got to be really careful when, uh, you know, posing this guy. Including uh, getting the uh, staff out of the packaging. You've got to be really careful with the ends. Uh, I've done it on one of my figures and I learned from that. and never did it again. Getting them out of the package. A uh, little technique. If they are not 
Uh, normally they are sellotaped in, this particular one wasn't. Uh, so you basically you have to push the plastic from the bottom and just pop one side out at a time. Uh, you know, the, uh, they're still releasing this to date. Where it, which is, it's a brittle plastic basically, it's a hard plastic where like on the Alpha Predator his staff is like a, a bit more rubbery so you, you can't snap that basically and really that's exactly what Necker should be doing with these but I got it out, it's all intact and uh, what a fine figure I love the colouring on him uh, you know, he's to his own does it look like the video game or not you know Maybe, maybe not, but for me, I don't care. I just love the fact that it's, it's a different city hunter that I can add to my collection. It has a bit of nostalgia with it. And uh, yeah, I'm just loving the paint on this. Uh, I love the way that on the actual staff itself where it's got the two tones of like the, the bronzy gold. And then as it's turning around here now, you've got like a purpley color. I love the dreads on him. Uh, the blue, just you know, it's a striking figure. I really love it. Uh, but yeah, I've not uh, took anything out apart from the staff. I've kept his, and uh, like I said, on that, that is uh, uh, the normal color of the skull. And then on the back of it, again, this is uh, purple on the back. Uh, and same with this shuriken disc, whatever I'm going to call it. Seems like a standard one. With a little bit of uh, colouring on it, not much. But uh, yeah, really loving this figure. And uh, you know, I'm going to uh, have a look at some of my other City Hunter Predators too, really cool. I love the fact that he's got his uh, net gun holder there. Uh, he doesn't come with any swappable heads or swappable hands. Uh, the wrist blades do come in and out. They're like of a black colour. And uh, yeah, I really love this figure. Absolutely gorgeous. But uh, anyway, let's. Uh, I mean, basically, there's colour purples on top with gold and yellow, and you know, there's there's loads of texture on it. I mean, if you have a closer look at him, as you can see there, there's the feet coming down. And as you can see the texture on it. Same with the bio helmet. You can physically see the textures on it. I really love it. Really cool item. Whoa, I'm knocking all my other figures over now, yes. Don't get much room here in my kitchen. This is where I'm, uh, we do all my videos from. Uh, but uh, let's just put him down a minute while I uh, I'll let you have a closer look at him. I'll just get me other figures in order before I show them to you. But uh, yeah, again, looking at the helmet, yeah, really good. But uh, let's tack him round to the back and also have a look at the back. I'm not going to show you his articulation. There's plenty of other videos out there that can show you that. Uh, I can give a rundown of it, but uh, looking at the quality there, it's like a, a bluish purplish colour. He does have a shoulder cannon. And that has articulation. But uh, more often than not, I don't move that. Some move easily on the track rail that it's on. Uh, and some don't. Obviously, he's got head articulation. It does move left and right. It is restricted with the hurt and the cannon. But I do try and bring the Predator's hurt forward. Uh, when I'm pausing them because I do love the dreads from the front. Uh, yeah, his head moves up and down. Uh, 
Zan's move out. Uh, the elbows rotate and move out. Uh, his waist rotates. Uh, he's got ball joints at the hips. Uh, knee joints. Uh, but yeah, and just a uh, swivel left uh, left and right on his legs. On, the, on his feet, sorry. But uh, still a good looking figure. You know, I do like posing my predators, but mainly... They just look good in pretty much vanilla poses. I keep saying that word vanilla. I think I'm American. Uh, but you know what I mean. Just the standard pose. Looks pretty cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's have a look at some of my other city hunter while we're here. We can compare him to it. And uh, this is the uh, Ultimate Series. This, this guy a few years back great articulation do love uh, his setup there he is with his uh, retracted combi stick on the back uh, that's all the usual I've got his uh, disc in as well there he is holding his uh, net gun as he famously deploys in Predator 2. Another good figure as well. Let's see if we can get this guy in. So we can see him in the background. But yeah, I really love this one. This is the Ultimate Series. I can't remember what year this is. But yeah, I really love this figure. Absolutely awesome. And... Uh, so let him rotate there. And uh, next in line is, well, I newly acquired this particular one, which is the battle damage one. I've done a few videos on this guy. Again, with his breather mask on. Actual fact, I don't think I've got a city hunter without a mask on. So I need to get another city hunter just to have the normal head on without the uh, bio mask but uh, again I love this figure this is the battle damaged ultimate series city hunter I really like that one again he has his retracted combi stick on his back absolutely cool figure as he rotates around there, I've also got his disc in. And he's holding the uh, retracted disc in his hand. Anyway, let's move on. Check out another one that I collected. And this one is the uh, City Hunter Cloaked. Absolutely brilliant figure, this one. And now I'm actually seeing it on the video now. It's... Uh, it's just like ice. They've actually got his, uh, he has retractable gauntlet blades. I've, I think I've got his, uh, <laughs> his disc in there. Yeah, I have. Again, another cool figure. I think this was uh, an SDCC exclusive. Really nice item. And that's the uh, City Hunter. Cloaked, fully cloaked. But I only picked this up a few few months ago. Some of these figures now are reaching pretty high prices, £50 plus. But I mean, for saying this figure probably is what, seven, eight years old. And, uh, you know, pretty hard to get hold of now. He also has a shoulder cannon, exactly the same as the rest. I uh, don't think he has any uh, chest articulation. No, he doesn't. I like the ultimate. But still a good looking figure to pose. And, uh, yeah, that's the uh, cloaked city hunter. 
and uh, moving on. Can we get that there? Just about get him in frame there. And this was uh, one I acquired not long ago as well. And this one is the uh, SDCC exclusive as well, City Demon. I also do have the uh, Jungle Demon. But this one, if you check out my Instagram, Trash Compactor Guy, I've took a few photographs of this guy with front of the light in the background. Really cool item. Need to move him out of the way. He's just catching him on the combi stick. We don't want to break them, do we? But uh, I love this one. This one is uh, the paint scheme is absolutely awesome. Uh, obviously, he must have been cloaked when the lightnings hit him. And yeah, this was an ultimate series as well. The box actually came with the uh, flashing lights. But my flashing lights are not working. They do come with batteries, but they're not removable. So eventually they will uh, run out. But yeah, I really love this one. The SDCC uh, City Demon exclusive. I really like this one. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all my uh, City Hunters wrapped up there in one little video. I just thought I would show you them all. And uh, getting back to the original video, which is this bad boy. I really like it. Great addition. Whoops. Oh, look at that. And then what happens? He falls on the floor. Well, there you go. Luckily, no damage to the... Let's just make sure he's uh, paused right. He does have peg holes, really. I suppose I should put them on stands and uh, not straight onto a rotating table. But hopefully that's going to be good. And he's not going to hit anybody on the way around. We're all looking clear. Whoa! So, yeah, guys, I think we'll uh, leave him off. Uh, maybe I'll just... Uh, Stand him up in front of the camera. I don't want to break anything. I probably should never have took him off the uh, rotating stand, but there you go. So let's see if we can do that. You've got to be careful with these feet, you see. He leans. So, boom, don't fall over on me again, please. Excellent. So, let me check that combi stick. Oh, it's just cast that way. I tell you, it doesn't have fry you when you've got some of these posed up. But uh, I do quite have a few combi sticks, to be honest with you. And I suppose they're all interchangeable, apart from the specials. But... Anyway, that's been my uh, little look at the uh, uh, Predator 2 City Hunter game version. Absolutely brilliant figure. And uh, also showing you my other City Hunters in my collection. And there we go, all lined up nice and neat. I know this has been a long video, but hey, it is what it is. Come on, be a good boy. So there we are, guys. That's my collection of City Hunters. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, quite liking them. I need a good display cabinet to get them in this... Uh, yeah, nice pose. I do have all the boxes of all the other figures as well with all the accessories. I am a box order. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed that, hit that like button. It always helps. 
Uh, also, if you uh, like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button uh, and, and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And this has been Trash Compactor Guy on a Wednesday afternoon looking at Predator. Okay, guys. See you soon.